Baxter, Detroit. This is Detroit's Christian Community Station. The new WDRJ, 1440 AM. (laughs) Welcome to the official pushback, Steps Radio, where we broadcast the voice of young minds. Sit back, relax, and get ready for the pushback. And remember, keep it official. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the official pushback show, Tops Radio, dedicated to giving young people a positive response to negative peer pressures, such as alcohol and marijuana use. And today, summer plans. How sober do you plan to be this summer? Well, for me, um... I'm going to just be sober. I'm going to just keep it like that. <laughs> just 100%. Mm-hmm. Huh? Just 100%. <laughs> Glad you're all tuning in to today's Stop Tops Ready. I'm sorry. The official Pussyback Show coming to you live from 1440 WDRJ. Yes, on Metro Detroit and America, we're discussing summer plans. How sober do you plan to be? And why do you feel the need to be out of your right mind to have fun? Well, I don't understand that. But me, like I said, like my man said, 100% sober, you know. I don't need to be smoking all that junk to have fun, so that's, that's whatever. Right. <laughs> 313-871-6094. Do tell. Shout out to the Steps Program, Parents and NCAF Family. Pushback Radio. Yes. Yes, yes. A or- plan is defined as a detailed proposal for doing or achieving something, an intention or decision about what one is going to do. Always need a plan. Yes, you always, always. need a plan to succeed. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Steps Radio. And you can feel free to leave your comments 24-7 at 313-649-PUSH. That's 313-649-7874. We'll also discuss current topics in the news, such as the missing children. Mm. A 12-year-old found alive in his dad's basement. Ain't that something else? That's terrible. And I'm PFI sorry. Conference and BET Music Awards. Can't wait to get to Did that. Did you see Tupac? I, I as well those. as summer, Tupac, hold on. As well as summer vacations. <laughs> you know, I really want to hear from everybody, so call in at 313-871-6094. Yeah, I hope y'all see Tupac there. I didn't, my, I I didn't, didn't even my see. My back. I didn't even see BET. <laughs> Who saw? Oh, man. Uh, Tupac was in the crowd. I don't have cable. That's the I got to... Um, <laughs> We're we'll also covering team reports on summer plans, family reunions, summer jobs, summer school, and more. And how important it is to be thug and drug free during the summer break? 313-871-6094. Folks, call in and let us know what you think. Great topics. Yes, wonderful topics, and we're happy to be thug and drug free. Yeah. You're live in the studio with... Lieutenant Ross. Trevion. Treasure. And, and the, the Prevention, Prevention Man. man. <laughs> Call in. Maybe you have a topic you love for Tops to cover. You know, something related to alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. Now is the time to tell us. Call 313-871-6094. Or you can log on into our Facebook page and share your comments about summer plans online at Steps Radio. This is my first day back in the studio in a long time. Make sure you know. Go green! Go white. You- Woo-hoo! Go blue. Yes, I got a fellow <laughs> Michigan Stater here with me. Uh, Finally, you know, I'll be alone. there in the fall. Mm-hmm. And, of course, keep, keep it, it official. official. It's, it's the, the real Pushback, pushback radio. radio. Let's go. Hello there. I'm just going to talk about my summer plans for 2014. Yeah! I'm so excited. This summer is a special summer because of this upcoming summer. I'm going to graduate from my school where I studied business commerce. The first thing I'm going to do after I graduate from my school is probably go out with all my classmates and we're having a huge party. Another thing I want to do this summer is spend like four or five days in London and just going to chill out, look at the city. I'm absolutely in love with London. Another thing I want to do this summer is go camping with some of my friends for only like three days so we can like chill out hang out, and just have fun, basically. Yeah. What else? It's your boy, Roy, and I'm here with... China. And we're going to be talking about what we do on our summer vacation with our families. So, China, describe to me briefly what you do on your summer vacation. During summer vacation, I attend Florida and Miami with my family. I am happy to be thug and drug-free. Oh, oh, we're back. Oh, you don't want that <laughs> my Trey Songz moment. No, Hold up, no. Jeez. No. <laughs> Remember where you in life compared to Trey Songz? 
look better than him. You better <laughs> chill, girl. Oh, 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 that was funny. That was a good one. <laughs> Missing 12 year old file. No Amber Alert. But why? And the, music, and the BET Awards. We're going to cover all that today. You know, let, let me talk about that missing 12 year old. You know what? I, I was disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. It was just like they said he was gone. You know, they had helicopters flying around looking for him. I was there when the helicopters were flying around looking for him. The helicopter even said something to me. He was like, What's up? Oh my God. You know? And I was like, You know, no, we don't we don't have him. I'm sorry. Keep going. Like, we were just looking like, How in the so, world can so, you hear from a helicopter? Like, no, like, I'm so serious. Like, it was literally talking. Like, it was so a giant speaker. I, ha- I have Shouldn't a question. So, was the 12 year old in the basement? Yes, like, we think, well, I think that the parents were, like, abusing him or something or locking him in a basement trying to starve him and kill him. My mm. thing is, why had the children if you're not going to take care of it? That's what I'm saying. It probably wasn't planned. That's like I said before, you know what a plan is. I gave you all the definition <laughs> earlier. Mm-hmm. A plan is defined as a detailed proposal for doing or achieving something, an intention or decision about what one is going to do. So always have a plan. Then we won't have to go through things like this. But I'm happy that this 12-year-old was found, you know, of course. I heard that when he came out of the basement, he ran to the police. Like, So you know something was up. That's the only time I run to police. (laughs) But who's seen the BET Awards? Not me. Let me tell you something. Why would my mans wear Uggs? I don't know why everybody hates on Pharrell like Wait, that. Like, actually, I, at, I MSU, at MSU, Asian kids, they wear hugs. Are you serious? Yes. Boys. Is it Uggs or Hugs? I keep calling them Uggs. Oh, Uggs. Hugs is diapers. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, they cost too much. I can't pronounce them. <laughs> God, bro was wearing Uggs. I'm like, come on, them not Timberlands. They, they make Uggs for guys. Then they had the biggest thirst trap ever for females. They put, what's his name? Oh, they um, put August Alcina, Trey Songz, and Chris Brown all on. See, she was calling the thirst you know trap. What? Yes. He got Chris Brown. That's all I it was say. on Man. Instagram when I had internet. I looked at. It, I was like, uh oh. Bro, Chris Brown was wearing the same thing as Hey Arnold. He had that little plaid checkerboard suit on. I think that's the style this year because that's what everybody had on. And then Tupac came back. No, he didn't. Don't listen. Tupac. Was, I got the picture. I you really? I really do push. have the picture. Okay. I will well, send we, you the picture. <laughs> well, send the picture to our uh, listeners. I'm sure they want to see that because I definitely did. Follow me on Instagram at LTN. I mean, I'm sorry. Underscore poetry. That's P O E T T R E. For the seat of picture. Keeping it thug and drug free all summer. How difficult is that? Not difficult at all. Not so really, follow no. our lead. Keep it thug and drug free. <laughs> we'll get back to you after these support stuff. These support stuff. Hey everyone, it's Olivia and tips and advice for getting a summer job. And so the first tip is advertise. And what I mean by that is, like, if you want to babysit and, you know, you don't have neighbors that have kids or it's, like, a stay-at-home mom so she doesn't need help, advertise. And what I mean by that is either, you know, go on websites made for, um, like, you can go on Sitter City and just type in, like, your area code and, like, and also, like, care.com. Those are like the two main, two main. (laughs) And second one is to make flyers. Flyers, just write your like your name. Do you need help babysitting? Do you need to get your lawn mowed? Um, Call this number. Make sure it's okay with your parents to put your number. And And then ask your neighbors or family friends if they need help like cleaning, house sitting, dog sitting, Babysitting, they want their lawn to be mowed. The official pushback show. It's your boy Deontay, and we're here with Tequila. All right. So, what you got planned for the summer? Um, I plan on working for the summer job through the steps program, and like hang with friends and stuff. That's it. Uh, do you got summer school? No, I'm having to be thug and drug free. And we're back. What did y'all think about the um pushbacks? Pretty good as always. Yeah. You, know? you know, we never really get any bad ones, and I'm actually proud of that. Thanks to everybody who sent them in. Yes, thank you. We love our team reporters. We really do. We appreciate Amen. you all. But I want to hear the comments. What do you have planned for the summertime? I want to hear what y'all have planned for. So call us at 313-649-PUSH or 313-871-6094. Well, you know, back in my youngin' days, you know, it's been a, uh, <clears throat> a couple of years. Stop it. But, um, you know, my my advice on how to get a summer job is basically just cut, go knock on somebody's door and cut the grass. 
That's what I usually See, do. See, that only works for males. No, because no. yes, it does. Because no, no, they don't want a girl. No, because listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> they feel Let's bad. The like they, they don't. Mm-hmm. Either they think we don't know how to cut grass, or they don't want to make a young lady cut grass. That's a lot. And I feel like that's just bold because you know I want money that's, too. I, see, that's where inequality that's comes in. Okay. And that's why you apply for. <laughs> and you know what? I hear you on that low key. I wish my dad would tell my sister to go cut the grass instead of waking me up at three o'clock in the morning to go do it. No, I w- no. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Man, I got enough to do. <laughs> mm. See, it's always that 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 double standard thing. I don't get it. Like we, I gotta stay in the house and wash the dishes. The way I put it, you could fight for the, the country. That's a lot. Go in the army, you could cut some grass. Oh my god, that is true. You know, I'm I'm not even. Sometimes I like to get into a different field. I'm tired of washing the dishes. But Jersey, you don't need to be cutting no grass. Well, why not? I could gain some muscle only pushing thing you need the lawnmower. Your nails, I'm long <laughs> That's why. You, that's why you. Never mind. What? Say what you got to say. <laughs> That's why you take protein. Put some powder in your bone, girl. K-bye. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. <laughs> prejudices and those who express their prejudices through force or violence. Um, Have y'all heard about the Motor City Pride celebration beating oh, in downtown Detroit? When they beat up the guy who chose a different lifestyle? Yeah, I heard about that. That's hmm. Nah, that's, I'm not going to say I'm a for it. I'm not going to say I'm against it. But my thing is, if you decide you want to have a certain lifestyle, that's for you to deal with. Nobody, You shouldn't have to feel threatened about that. Nobody should be threatening you or attacking you because of it. To the guy, whoever it was, to the guy who it was, I seen a picture of him when he was in the hospital and stuff. You know, um, I'm sorry they did it, but, you know. That's the way today is. That's just the way our generation is. They. That's terrible. You know, I think everybody should be accepted. Right. For who they are, yeah. Because we, we're all the same. If you take off our skin, we're all skeletons, just bones. I got taller bones, but yeah. <laughs> okay, look, someone always has to be technical, but it, it's all good. I believe him. he was 20 years old, uh, attacked over, and they actually recorded it. I'm like, so they really was planning on going up there attacking somebody. When they record, when you record that, you know something's going to happen. So what was your point? And they, I mean, first of all, if you're not gay, why you at gay pride? Explain that to me. I mean, you don't have to be gay to be at gay pride. Maybe you just support the those who are homosexual. But if you go in there to fight them, what's your point of going? Yeah, that's terrible. I, that's one thing I hate. I mean, I love the city of Detroit, but it just seems like at every event, every, people plan or, to yeah, go fight. Every, it's every, supposed to be you? a joyous time uh, for people to bond and take their families and take their children. Exactly. But like River Days, it can never be something. It, ne- it can never not be a fight. And it's always downtown. Always. like not that. Always. That's like the meetup. The, that's what? the boxing ring. Downtown, the the metaphorical yeah. or East English. Yeah, I know y'all oh, heard about okay. that earlier this year. Um, the Grammys night, somebody got shot after the show. Nobody has the right. Y'all got to remember this. Nobody has the rights, and I do mean nobody has the rights to put their hands on you because of the way because of what they think. Exactly. That that's so true. I mean, not at I, all. It, I just I can't I can't I I don't I I don't even know how to ex- explain like how I feel about this. It's just terrible. Like every event downtown that you could think of, fireworks. Why can't Boom. you go sit chill like I did? I went chill on some grass, mm-hmm. watch the fireworks. Other people, what's up, man? What's up? You talking up? Like you know what? Who like would I ever say what up? I yeah, don't so understand. That's like, only went one time. That's it. That's, that's and then it's like you you're not safe. Right. Like people go out, go out there and they bring guns. They ain't doing it. I, I wish that would change. That's one thing I wish would change. You go out to these suburban cities, you don't got to worry about it at all. You know, but... It's ridiculous. But let's get back to these push-ups. Push-ups? Really? Push back. You trying to exercise, huh? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, was you need a thinking bit. about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one, two, three, go. B is the buzz. Kids will go dance and lie and fuzz. And I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Boop, 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 boop. I drink in my hand, like snow against the burning sand, probably getting gorgeously tanned in summer. I'll finally see a summer breeze blow away a winter storm, and find out what happens to solid water when it gets warm. Tops Radio, the official pushback show. It's your girl, Nia, and we're here with Quintina. So, Quintana, we're talking about amusement parks. Can you tell me why or why not you like to visit them? Well, I like to visit amusement parks, but my favorite amusement parks are the ones with no height limit. Do you feel safe at the amusement parks? Sometimes I feel safe at the amusement parks, but it all depends on who's around. 
Lastly, can I get you to say I'm happy to be thug and drug free? I am happy to be thug and drug free. And we're back. Um, that first pushback, or that was that was the cutest thing ever, by the little girl singing. Uh-huh. I I was. Tr-